Hey, good afternoon to you. Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. is your Monday afternoon tropical update. And we got something big to talk about, and I'm not talking about just Grace. I'm showing something big coming after Grace. If you've never been here before, hello. Hey, my name is Mark. I do upload every single day. Just not Friday from sundown to Saturday from sundown. That is Sabbath. But I do upload these updates every afternoon to make sure everybody stays updated every day. So make sure you hit that subscribe button because I am all year around. Guys, hit that like button if y'all continuing liking these tropical updates. God bless every single one of you. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. Y'all have been just awesome. And remember to save you time, I always put the timestamps in the description. That way you can go about the video as you please and quick and get done with what you need to see. Thank you for visiting the channel. All I ask is if you know somebody that's getting these impacts, friends or family, share this on social media or just hit the like button. YouTube will suggest it for you. Thank you so much for helping out. And you still have your tornado threat for today. Matter of fact, a 2% did stretch up further up Alabama. For tomorrow, you have a 2% in this green and a 5% in the brown. And the 5% is Charlotte, North Carolina, Greensboro, North Carolina, Winston-Salem, North Carolina, High Point, North Carolina, and Asheville, North Carolina. The 2% is Atlanta, Georgia, Durham, North Carolina, Columbia, South Carolina, Sandy Springs, Georgia, and Macon, Georgia. I always update to the 8 p.m. on my community tab, so make sure you go check out the community tab on my channel and see what the latest info is. As of right now, Tropical Depression 8 is at 35 miles per hour, moving south at 9 miles per hour. Tropical Storm Fred, which missed hurricane by 8 or 9 miles per hour, is at 65 miles per hour now, 9 miles per hour moving to the northeast. And Tropical Depression Grace is still at 35 miles per hour, moving west-northwest at 12 miles per hour. Now the flash flood risk for the next three days has not changed. You still have all this in the yellow and these two moderate sections in the red. One is, one is all the way until tomorrow morning for the Florida Panhandle in southern Alabama. The other one is until Wednesday morning for northern Georgia, parts of upstate South Carolina, and portions of North Carolina. The rainfall amounts has not changed neither. You still have the 1 to 2 inches in the light green, the 2 to 4 inches in the dark green. The only thing that's changed was when you got the 4 to 6 inches in the yellow, you got the 6 to 10 inches in the orange. The orange disappeared from South Carolina. So the heaviest spot will be northeast Georgia and southwest North Carolina. Storm surge hasn't changed neither. It's still the same numbers as this morning. And who's going to get a chance for our tropical storm force winds? You have a 100% chance to get at least 39 miles per hour winds in this purple section. Then it goes down to 90, 80, 70, 60, 50, 40, 30. Now, when we look at our potential velocity anomaly, we do see that around the 25th to the 28th, we have something strong coming in the Gulf. And it's not Grace, because Grace so far has been showing it's going to hit Mexico around the 21st. Now here's Tropical Storm Fred, looks like it's still on a strengthening phase, still bursting up. It was predicted to be a tropical storm to at least southern Alabama. So it is getting some strength right there and getting some bad thunderstorms. And the projected path has it somewhere in 48 hours going all the way up to West Virginia. This thing's going pretty quick. Three days is going to be somewhere over the northeast. The strength has gone down greatly. It's predicted most of the ensemble showing that within the next 24 hours, it will go down to a tropical depression and stay that way throughout the whole way to the northeast. But a few of the ensembles that show that it will be a weaker tropical storm and stay a tropical storm all the way to the northeast. More than likely, it will go down to the depression. And here's tropical depression grace. It looks like it's actually just going straight south, but it's actually moving west. But it looks like most of the thunderstorms will be over if not very close to Jamaica. So you better prepare for heavy rainfall, possible mudslides with the rainfall. I think the rainfall amounts will come up a little bit. But it is starting to breathe and grow a little bit bigger now. And Leia's guidance puts it over here by the Cayman Islands in 48 hours. And in four days, puts it over here on the western side of the Gulf of Mexico. You still have a couple ensembles that show it can go towards southern Texas. However, most of the runs has been showing that it's going to go towards Mexico. Then after that, we have something big that just brews up in the Gulf. Has the potential to be all kind of strength so far because none of these models really know until it gets off of Yucatan. The average shows that it'd be a Cat 1 hurricane. Even the last run, according to the H Wharf, brings it all the way down to a 922 Cat 5 hurricane. And we have Tropical Depression 8, which will be Henry. It's still spinning around, it's still going to be on the same path and go all around Bermuda and leave. Most of the guidance shows that it will stay a strong tropical storm throughout the whole time. There's a few of them, the H Wharf and such, shows it'll get all the way up to possible Cat 2. Still leaving. And when you look at it on the SpaghettiOs, you can see the strength 
of where the intensification happens and where the chances are for it to be strong. It still has it going over Mexico and it still has it going over southern Texas still as a possibility. But if you go about another four to five days, you'll see that something else brews up in the Gulf and it brews up fast. Comes onto the Western Caribbean, into the Gulf of Mexico, pretty big. Total rainfall for the GFS within the next five days does, it, does have it heavy for Florida Panhandle, Southern Alabama, also for Eastern Tennessee and Western Virginia. The Euro has a Florida Panhandle, then it starts getting a little heavy, like there's gonna be a stall effect because this cold front coming, because it gets all the way from six to 10 inches as it goes up the Mid-Atlantic to the Northeast, and the Northeast it has heavy as well. Almost 10 inches possible for New York, also for Northern Pennsylvania. So there is a big heavy streak according to the Euro. The GFS shows it goes up somewhat, but then it gets pulled out. Now the next five days according to the GFS don't show really heavy amounts for Jamaica, well, it does show heavy amounts possibility for Caymans if this goes north or south. Cancun, it shows you will get some at least five to six inches. Also, for Belize, you will get a short amount. When you go from five to ten days, it's within that five-day period from five to ten days, puts this six, seven inches all across the Yucatan, all the way down to Belize, get all the way up to eight inches, and you get a big heavy spot across, going across Central America. This is going to be a lot of rainfall, especially for Mexico. Now, it has been updated to where there is an intensification period right here when it passes by the Yucatan. And also, WSV3 is starting to pick it up to where it's going to be a Cat 1 hurricane so far being picked up. This will change. I'm sure it will upgrade to more. But now the cone is going a little further south. It's not so much over Texas no more. The cone has dropped further south, which means Texas, you will be out of the cone. The tropical storm force winds coming from Fred will go all the way up by Albany and by Northern by Americas for Georgia. It will be another another area for tropical storm force winds. All right, guys, that's the tropical update so far. Pretty much everything's been done and it's been quiet from here. Now we're going to see what Grace does. God bless all you going through, Fred, and I hope everything will be okay. Hope you keep your power. Hope there's not really much loss at all. I have an important message I'd like to read to y'all today. God bless every single one of you. Hope you have a very blessed Monday night. I'm going to read to you today 1 Thessalonians, verse 5. But of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say, Peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them, as travail upon a woman with child and they shall not escape. But ye, brethren, are not in darkness, that that day should overtake you as a thief. Ye are, ye are all the children of light, and the children of the day. We are not of the night, nor of darkness. Therefore let us not sleep, as do others, but let us watch and be sober. For they that sleep, sleep in the night, and they that be drunken, are drunken in the night. But let us, who are of the day, be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love. And for an helmet, the hope of salvation. For God hath not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us, that whether we wake or sleep, we should live together with him. Wherefore, comfort yourselves together, and edify one another, even as also ye do. And we beseech you, brethren, to know them which labor among you, and are over you in the Lord, and admonish you, and to esteem them very highly in love for their work's sake, and be at peace among yourselves. Now we exhort you, brethren, warn them that are unruly, comfort the feeble-minded, Support the weak. Be patient toward all men. See that none render evil for evil unto any man, but ever follow that which is good, both among yourselves and to all men. Rejoice evermore. Pray without ceasing. In everything give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. 
quench not the spirit, despise not prophesying, prove all things, hold fast that which is good, abstain from all appearance of evil, and the very God of peace sanctify you wholly, and I pray God your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Faithful is he that calleth you who also will do it. Brethren, pray for us. Greet all the brethren with an holy kiss. I charge you by the Lord that this ep epistle be read unto all the holy brethren. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Amen. God bless you all. I hope you have a very great night tonight. Thank you again for visiting my channel today. All glory does go to Yahweh, God of Jacob, the Almighty. Amen. <laughs> Have a very blessed night. Hallelujah, guys.